Hi guys, welcome to my Daddy YouTube channel. This is Mayfair. So basically, I've been wanting to do this um, Rihanna inspired makeup look, but the devil did not allow me to do it, guys. It has taken me over a month now to do it. I feel so bad, but as they say, it's better to be late than sorry. I didn't want to be sorry whatsoever, so I still stopped doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy it because I think it came out quite great. And green lipstick looks really nice on me. I could tell that I was inspired and I was meant to do this look because I got I ordered some stuff from Colourpop from America and for some weird reasons I got a green lipstick. I didn't know why I got a green lipstick, green lipstick rather, but I got a green lipstick. And the reason was because God wanted me to do a real nice part makeup look as far as I'm concerned. So from the first day I saw the video I knew that I wanted to do the look. I'm so happy it came out the way it came out and this is totally something that will rock. Something bold and dangerous that says me fit me. So yeah, I hope you guys will really enjoy the video and I love you guys so much and I missed you guys. It feels so good doing this tutorial once again and I'll see you guys in the video. Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to start with priming my eyes. What I like to use to prime my eyes is the Soft Ogre Pink Pot from by MAC. So I'm just going to use a normal fluffy brush and dab it into the um, paint pot. And this paint pot is really good because like it prevents creasing and whatever color that you use shows really well. So it's like really good and I like to use my hand like to blend it evenly. Very little goes a long way. So for this look, I want to use like one same palette. I want to use like one palette throughout the whole eyeshadow look. So I'm going to be using the Morphe 35W palette. That one. I'm going to be using this one here and this one here for my brow bone. It's a matte and a shimmer color just to make it more even and not too harsh. Ignore my, ignore my brows guys one of them is a principal and the other one is a professor so just ignore it <laughs> you know there are some days we just have good brow days and then there are some days that are just not so good today is my not so good brow day well we'll make it work we'll make it work and in brush you still want to blend your brow bone then if you guys notice the Rihanna look she had like a very soft brownish crease so, and i'll be using this orange warm color in my crease this is going to serve as our transition color we're just going to apply that directly into our crease so using that same brush you like to go into the chocolatey brown color here so you are gradually trying to deepen the crease using like colors that are a bit darker the darker you start from the lightest and then you go to semi dark dark and so on and so forth so you just want to keep on building your shadows and meanwhile while you're applying your shadows always use a soft hand always use a soft hand you also want to try most size and dust off your shadow because you don't want to apply so much shadow at a particular point at the same time. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? Yeah. So using that same shadow, but then see the tip of this one is a bit smaller and like a gym shape, so it goes directly like into your crease like so. That color down there. We're going to apply that directly into our crease. Then at the side here, you want to just go in circular motions like so, and then you blend it back into your crease. Use this one, the one that the reddish brown one here, and then you pop that as well into your crease. As I said, you go circular motion, and then you just swipe it in. So you just want to concentrate the colors basically at the outer parts of your eye, like so. Then you go in with your blending brush. 
and then you try to buffer all that hash line then you do not want to see any hash line whatsoever so buff that out like so and yeah so I think we're done with like our crease work now so um in the video she used like a very gold sparkly color but first of all I'm going to use this gold shadow here I wonder just going to apply it lightly into my mobile my eyelids like down there I always like to use like a very small brush to apply um, shadows on my lid because then I know that you can work easily with it like anywhere the glitter does not attach to or does not stick you can still see like gold reflects and you won't see like just your normal skin tone so that's why you have to apply a shadow before you apply your glitter going into that same brush that you used earlier on this dim one with no product additional product added to you just want to blend the gray circular motion like so so i got this glitter from elf cosmetics apparently it's a really good glitter um glue or glitter primer so i'd like to try it out so first impression and as well a review on how it's going to actually sit once i can get to open it today we're going to be using the makeup glue glitter in asteroid i'm going to be using that Oops, one second, open it. Why do I find it so difficult to get packages open? I have no idea. Oh, that's because I was using the wrong way. Ooh, I like the cap of the eye. That looks really nice and fancy. One thing I've noticed while we're using glitter is try not to close your eyelids once the glitter dried because if you close your eyelids while the glitter is still wet it might crease and you really do not want that so uh, um, the glitter seems to be dry now but I noticed that like my eyes look a bit flat so we, ha we have to dip in like our crease a little bit more so to dip in our crease we're going to go back into that same brown niche red color that one there and we're going to apply that just to the outer view of our eyes i'm not so comfortable with it how it is so i think we should dip in our crease just a little bit so i'm just going to add like a little bit of a very dark brown shadow on my eye on the outer view of my eyes and we'll see how that goes yes baby so once you are sure and you are okay with that, take your a blendy brush, blend it out into your crease. So, and take another brush that has nothing on it, like a young brush I get, and you swipe up there. So, we can go on to our face now. I will do my face and I will be back. So I'm back guys, so I used an orange concealer, this is the MAC one, I used that all over my face to cover all my dark spots and then I apply a foundation, I usually use the L'Oreal True Match foundation, I use the shade Cappuccino. To highlight my face today I'm going to be using the Instant Anti-Age the Eraser Eye by Maybelline, I really love this concealer guys, it's the bomb, I really like it. So you have highlighted where you have to highlight and you most likely look like a monster then you use a damp beauty blender the one i like to use is the real technique one to be a little bit extra i will use the revolution ultra cover and conceal palette i'm going to be using the yellow shadow there like that one there i'm going to use that to um highlight just the highest point of my face this is just to be a little bit extra and to give me that oomph that i need i 
Rihanna was definitely wearing a full cover in your eyes, so why not go in? So once you've had this for about one to two minutes on your face, then you can just use, I like to use a very fluffy brush, a very fluffy powder brush to dust all of the excess powder off. So you want to put like the bum bum area, when you do this, right? You want to put the bum bum area in where the hole of your cheek is, like so. going to reverse contour our face I like to use the this part of the, um, the blender I like to use this part of the blender to uh, kind of cut where I want my contour to stay. another thing I like to do is that I like to make my smile line because that place creases so bad guys I'll be using the darkest brown color there, that one there, for my under eye. So I've had this color pop ultra matte lip for a while now, and immediately when I saw that Rihanna had a green lip, I knew that it was God said that I should buy a lip, a green lip, ultra matte lip cream or whatever it's called. So yeah, I'm just going to apply it and stop talking. Thank you so much guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys so much and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial please comment down below or whatever you want to see next or any of such things i hope you guys still enjoy it i love you guys bye